Hi, welcome back. Um, if you watch the other video, we're talking about building a hybrid web app in Xcode 9.0 using Swift 4 and um, using the WK web view instead of the old UI web view. A uh, couple things. Um, I have encountered with Xcode 9.0 as of September 22nd, 2017. Um, Xcode officially released on September 19th, 2017, and, and I've noticed it is a little buggy when working with the WebKit uh, WebView for our purposes. For instance, if you try to add a, web, a WK WebView from the Objects Palette in Xcode and then try and link it to your View Controller, um, as we did with UI View Controller in the last series, the application won't work. So control dragging from the storyboard to the View Controller code is not the current best approach. Uh, the good news, however, is that you can still create a view controller programmatically by following the next steps that I'm going to go through. Um, so the first thing, let's uh, open up Xcode if you haven't. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project. So click on that button. And we're going to create a single view app. So I'll go ahead and click Next. Um, we're going to go ahead and give it the name that we gave our HTML file just to keep it consistent. Um, let's go ahead and call it honk and we're going to go ahead and use Swift you do not need to use core data or the unit tests and you go ahead and say next and then we're going to go ahead put that in our test 2 folder that we created in the last video so it'll be in the same location with our HTML and our hype resources just for convenience sake go ahead and create that and now you see that you've created the project now a couple things, let's take a, a quick navigation around um, Xcode. Again, if you come over here to your project pane, you're going to see two files, an app delegate Swift, and you're going to see the view controller Swift. We're going to be working within the view controller Swift to do everything from creating the actual WebKit view controller um, to also um, giving the functionality so that it can display our HTML files. And then again, you have your main storyboard. We're not going to be in there uh, for this one. Uh, we, we don't really need to since we're going to be doing everything programmatically on, on the uh, view controller. Now, one thing I do want to show you is down here in your object palette or object pane, let's take a look at the old way that we used to host or, or show HTML files. And that was called the UI web view. And if you look at it now, you're going to see that it says it's deprecated. And that says that legacy UI web view for support of older Mac OS platforms prefer using WebK view if possible. So that basically means they don't want you using this anymore. There's several reasons for that. WK web view is faster um, for loading web pages. And there are some other uh, JavaScript things in there that, that you can read about on Apple's page. But um, if you did have to make something for an older OS uh, before Yosemite or an iOS before iOS 9, um, you should have upgraded by now for security reasons, etc. But if you have to make for those older platforms, then you could use the UI web view. But for moving forward, they don't want you to do that. Now, typically, you would find the WK web view, WebKit view, here in the objects again. And it says it displays embedded web content and enables content navigation. But today, we're not going to go ahead and do that. Typically, you drag that over to your main storyboard and you'd build it visually. But we're going to go ahead with the programming. So the first thing that I would like to do before we hit the view controller programming is I want to go ahead and load our assets that we created in the last video. And these will be the HTML file you created and the hype resources. So you want to bring both of those over. So by clicking, holding down shift and clicking on both of them, you drag them right under the assets x.xassets folder and drop them. Now, this is going to be where I'm going to point out one of the first bugs in Xcode 9. The destination, you always want to have checked, copy items if needed. The added folders, you don't want to create groups. You want to create folder references because it's a lot easier on Xcode and it's, it's better for your memory. And then the add to targets needs to be checked. So it's saying that it's adding to our project called Honk. Now, the problem I found with Xcode 9 is that should automatically load all of your assets into your project build. It does not. Um, and I'll show you what happens here in a few minutes. 
So we're going to go ahead and leave it all here the way it should be and say finish. And you can now see that there is your HTML page. Here are your hype resources. Okay. Now let's go back to the View Controller Swift. And the next thing you need to do, if you remember in building any um, iOS applications, when you set up a single view controller, it imports the UI kit for the user interface and all the neat things that come with UI kit. Um, it also gives you the class view controller and gives you just some basic startup code that you use to make your app. However, to use the WebKit view controller, we need to import WebKit. So you do that by typing in import. WebKit, module WebKit. And that will now give your app everything that's within the WebCat, WebKit module. Now, I've already typed all the code that I'm going to use here in this section. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it in there. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because if you're like me, you came here to watch this video so you can get started right away and convert some of your hype projects over to iOS 11. Um, and, and you really don't want to go into lengthy descriptions. We can do that at another time. One thing I will tell you is this line of code here did receive memory warning. You don't need that um, in your application. You can take that out. When I paste everything in here, though, you're going to see that it would have wiped it out anyway. But that's something you can always take out at the very beginning unless you're going to use memory management, which nine times out of ten you probably won't. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my code. Um, that I've already pre-cooked and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy it from another document and right here at line 12 on class I'm going to drag all the way through that last curly brace and then I'm going to paste. Okay so what we're, I'm going to go over just briefly what each section does and then at some other video we'll go into real detail about each line by line. First though what it does is, like I said, it brings in UI kit and your web kit. It brings in, brings in the uh, class view controller. So it says this is going to be a view controller. And it's going to be a web kit navigation delegate. So it's going to be using the web kit navigation. Um, it will load the view. Then we're going to create a constant called web view. And it's going to be using the WK web view modules or uh, the objects so that it can load your HTML. We're then going to make a constant of the HTML path, which is called bundle.main.path. This is where your HTML file that you created in Hype is going to live. So you need to point your application there to grab it so it can show it in your web view. So here it's going to be, you know, I've got honk. Whatever the name of your Hype document, that's what you want to put in there. Typically for a template, I would usually have index of type.html. But you would just change this. It's the only thing that you would change in, in all this code to match whatever the name of your HTML file is. Um, then there's a, a base URL path. It tells you is the directory true? Yes. And then there's something that's been kind of new since Swift 3, and that's error correction. And this is called a do catch loop. And what it does is it just goes out and makes sure that if any kind of error happens in trying to find this path, it will fix it. It'll catch the error. And then we close it out by saying webview.navigationdelegate self, which means it views itself, and view the web view. All right, now pretty much that's it um, to building this. But I'm going to show you something. I believe we're going to throw an error here. And what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and test it in the simulator. So I'm going to run it. And build succeeded. Bring that over here. And you can see it's loading. It takes a little while. And again, this is showing iPhone 8 Plus uh, with the iOS 11. And it's trying to load. And I believe we're going to throw our first error in just a second. And it loads it up. Seems like everything's going well. And it tells you here in the output, looks like things are working. Up, oh, there's our error. Thread one, execution bad instruction code, execution one I386, envop subcode 0x0. 
when you see that, it'll freak you out. You're going to think, oh my gosh, what am I doing? <laughs> I've totally screwed this up. How do I fix it? Well, this is a bug in Xcode 9 for right now. So the first thing to do to fix it is you're going to go ahead and you're going to stop your simulator. It'll still stay up there. But now what we want to do is we want to go back here to our project pane and you want to click on the project, honk, and you want to go to build phases. You click on build phases and right here you're going to see copy bundle resources. And you're going to see it put in a launch screen for your storyboard, it put in some X assets, it put in the main storyboard, but it didn't put in your honk HTML or your honk hyper resources. So what we want to do is we would like to add those by clicking the add button and you're going to go that one and you're going to hold down your shift key click on hyper resources and add them that's going to add the path so if we go back and take a look at view controller swift and you see back here where it says bundle.main.bundle path that's what's happening we're linking this to that by going here and manually setting that up. Okay, so for right now, that's the best way to do it. I'm sure this will be fixed. It'll be much easier to use in the future. But let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and try to run this again. So let's click on the simulator. It's going to tell you build succeeded. And it's going to launch. This time, it works. So we'll test it. And there you have it. That's the easiest way to do WK Web View. And again, um, I'll come out with something a little more detailed and hopefully again when uh, Xcode 9 is a little less buggy. But for right now, that should do it. If you need this code, you can pause it right now and retype the code that you see here just as it is um, from import UI kit on down in your view controller Swift or you can go to my GitHub page and you can download um, or just copy and paste, copy from my, my Swift code and paste it into your own project. Again, I thank you for visiting and I hope you got something useful from this video. Thanks a lot.